Hi, this is Natalia from Ada Developers Academy Cohort 13. My pronouns are she, her, and for my capstone project, I made Weekly Menu, which is a meal planning app. It allows users to add dishes and makes menus out of them. Now, before we demo the app, I wanted to quickly talk about my tag stack. I have React on the front end, and on the back, I'm using AWS serverless stack including AWS Lambda, API Gateway, and DynamoDB. If you're not very familiar with serverless, I'd say it's a spectrum of solutions where servers are managed by someone else, in my case, AWS. And what's great about it is that these technologies allow for easy scaling and you only pay for what you use. Like if my app gets popular and I have a lot of load, AWS will run more instances of it and if no one is using it, it will scale down and I won't be paying for anything. Now let's look at weekly menu. Pretty much everything requires users to log in, so let's do that. Authentication is handled by a service called Ospiro. We have signed in with Google, so let's do that. Now we are signed in. The first thing new users are expected to do is to add dishes, so let's look at that. We have a form here that prompts for recipe name, an image URL, and amount of servings, which meal this uh, dish can be part of. There are directions and ingredients, and you can have as many of those as you want. Um, now, there are validations, so if we try to add an empty dish without even the name, it won't let us do that. Or if we try to do something like this, it won't let us do it either because I already have a dish with this name. Now let's look at my dishes. These are all the dishes that I currently have and we can filter by breakfast, lunch and dinner. If we want, we can take a look at one specific dish. Let's say this one. Here's a delicious image. There are ingredients and directions and we can add it or delete this dish if we want. Now let's look at how we can make a menu. Two things my app needs to know in order to make a menu is the start date for the week that we are going to make a menu for, let's say Monday next week. And uh, how many people will we be cooking for? Let's say we have a family of two. Ta-da! Here is the menu for the week. Um, in case you're wondering why in the world I have this polenta dish three days in a row, this is because my recipe of polenta makes six servings and we selected a family of two. So yeah, my app now thinks that we should be eating polenta three days in a row. So if we are absolutely happy with this menu, we can click this happy PDF button and it will make us a PDF. We can print it and stick it to our fridge. And in case we're not quite happy, we have options to delete, redo and add it this menu. Now, Redo will just go and make a completely new menu. We can try it. Here we go, new menu. And edit what will allow us to make small tweaks. Um, it will bring the sidebar and this letter stand for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, let's say this quiche, four days in a row doesn't really sound good. Let's change it for Italian baked eggs. This is better. Okay, let's update the menu. Here we go, the menu has been saved. Menus also come with grocery lists. Let's take a look. So for grocery list, what the app does, it will go through ingredients for all these dishes and aggregate them in a list. <laughs> yeah, here you can see we have bell peppers one and a half because bell peppers are needed for both crumbled eggs and fried rice and all together we need one and a half to make these two dishes. Now, this list is very, very long. This is because these are the ingredients for all the dishes uh, from this menu. What we can do, we can add it this list and check off things that we already have. Now, let's say we have these two things and let's say we like bagels, so we don't want two, we want ten. And we can also add things if we want. Like, let's say wine sounds good to celebrate can update the list and here's our updated grocery list two things at the top are gone bagels are now four and somewhere in the bottom we have our wine now if we're happy with the list we can have a pdf for it as well 
Now, this is all the functionality that is currently available, but I plan to continue working on this project and add more features. Thank you so much for watching my presentation and happy meal planning!